Whoa, folks, with that being said from Wade Barrett, who is defending his championship later tonight, I'd like to welcome you guys to Thursday Night Superstars, and thank you for joining us here tonight and what's going to be one fun show, man. This right here is where you can see some of the future talent of the WWE compete. Uh, I don't know what Chad was doing here. I thought he lost his job. Did he lose his job when he lost to that rookie? When he lost to El Caballero? Didn't he lose it? Or did he... I don't know. I thought he lost his job. I, I honestly thought he lost a job. Remember, Chad was a SmackDown superstar, so maybe Mr. Duncan felt some sympathy for Chavo and uh, he didn't fire him. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not the general manager. I don't, I'm just just a commentator, a lonely commentator over here, the one-man commentator. Well, that is true. He never signed a contract. And as we know here, you have to sign contracts in order for something to be valid. So now he's going after a championship? Okay, Chavo. Well, yeah, there is a new debut in Superstar. Remember, Mr. Duncan pr promised new superstars tonight. We will see some new superstars tonight. I can guarantee you that. And what I'm getting word is this guy. This guy right. Whoa! Look at the size of that guy. That guy's... Wow! Uh, Chavo, you, you might have just signed up for the wrong the wrong contest here because this guy is huge looks like he can lift up a freaking well it looks like he can lift up the world if he wanted to wow i'm getting some word right now this guy goes by the name of ryback and I'm, i'll tell you more about him during the match as i get more word about this man right here man named Ryback. So Ryback will make his debut tonight against Chavo Guerrero here on Superstars. I want to see what this guy can do in that ring. But holy moly cadoli. I don't know, believe in what I see right now. This guy is huge. Some of the fans, come on, look at Chavo's. I'm like, yeah. Chavo, you might wish you were on the unemployment line after facing this guy. Because apparently this guy can eat a lot of food, from what I'm being told right now. This guy eats a lot of food, and it's crazy how much he eats, man. It, it, you know, it's, I'm, it's a lot of food, simple as that. I, I hear they have to bring it by the truckload to his mouth, man. They bring a whole truck, and they go back it up, back it up, and he eats it. He takes it down like a beast. And apparently he can he can lift up a lot too much. He can lift up like 20 of me. And that's saying something. This guy is a powerful guy and we're seeing it right now. Look at the oh, what a what a move by Ryback. Apparently, uh yeah, look at Ryback, man. This is a debut match as Ryback. Uh, apparently, I'm also getting word. This guy used to be Skip Sheffield. Remember the Nexus? Remember the Nexus, the big bald guy in there. The former NXT rookie, Skip Sheffield. That's him right there. Just switched his name up to Ryback. And now this is his debut match as Ryback. So does that count as a streak if he can win tonight? Because he's lost before already. So we'll see what happens. But... Right now, just dominating Chavo. Look at this. Look at Ryback going to work. I guess technically this is the debut of a new star. Because it is a new guy by a new name. But we'll see. What a clothesline from... Damn, knocking the head off of Chavo. Anyone see Chavo's head tonight? He just got his head knocked off by this behemoth. This, this well, muscle, muscle man. Ryback, Ryback, whoa, whoa, look at that. That's just not right, man. Chavo is out like a light. And this match is over. Ryback, impressive debut, debut here on Superstars. I'm impressed. I was impressed by this debut by Ryback. The way he just beat down a WWE veteran. 
Chavo Guerrero is no slouch in that ring. He's been putting on some hell of a matches on NXT if you haven't seen it, man. And Ryback just destroyed him. Yeah, that's right. He just destroyed him. Wow, man. I'm, I, I like this. I like this new thing that he did today, Duncan, that he did this week. Well, folks, we have another debut coming up soon, I'm, I'm being told, uh, as Ryback celebrating his first win as Ryback in a WWE ring. Congratulations, Ryback. Hope to see more of you in the future, either here on, on Superstar, SmackDown, Raw, wherever you're drafted. But we take it to the back with Tony Chima, who is with one of the number one contenders for the European Championship, Tyson Kidd. Folks, this right here is about to be tag team competition. We're about to see um, a new team emerge tonight. We're about to see a new team emerge tonight. And uh, Goldust will team up with Yoshi Tatsu tonight to take on that new team that Mr. Duncan has brought to the WWE. And they will be part of the SmackDown brand from what I'm being told. So that's going to be fun to see, man. A guy on the SmackDown brand new tag team on SmackDown brand our tag team division is just getting better and better and uh, during the match I have an announcement that some of you might like some of you might not like but I like I like the team that's about to be announced that I'm gonna announce yep that's my first clue you guys the team that's gonna be announced but here's the bizarre one gold dust good to see him back here on superstars and I can't wait to see him team up with uh, Yoshi Tatsu. Cause that's one odd pairing right there. One, one pairing that she didn't think I, you know, it's like, what's going on here? I'm just glad to see that Yoshi Tatsu is in one piece and that he can walk down the ring and celebrate like this. Because if you didn't see this past Monday Night Raw, he faced a debut in one of the new superstars that debuted. The first one that we saw debut in, uh, the formerly known as Albert Lord Tensai or Tensai. He debuted when Yoshi wanted a match against Tyson Kidd. Lord Tensai came out and destroyed Yoshi Tatsu to the point where I thought Yoshi was out for like for a long, long time. Wait, Gold is saying a couple things. Yoshi Dust. Wait, Yoshi. What the hell is Yoshi Dust? Sounds like a fast food place. Well, it's Yoshi, no, it's Yoshi something, I don't know, but. Here comes the team they're about to face. And what I'm being told, it's made out of two former NXT rookies. Before our season one, these are former former rookies of the NXT. And one is Darren Young, the man on the right is Darren Young, and the man in the back is Titus O'Neil. And they call themselves the prime time players kind of cocky don't you think they call themselves the prime time players and let's see what the prime time players bring to the WWE tag team division I guy is pretty huge I'm gonna say Tyson looks like he's been working out and Darren Young looks like a well I don't want to I don't want to offend anyone but Looks like John Cena, but if John Cena had a half brother that was African American, I said it. That's right. Tyus O'Neil is destroying. Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Tyus O'Neil is destroying. Blah 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 blah. Like some certain athlete. Damn you, AW. But we're about to see what 
the primetime players can bring to the tag team division. And uh, apparently there's also another new team in the tag team division in Yoshi Dust. And the team of Goldust and Yoshi Tatsu, if you, if you didn't catch it. A bizarre team teaming up. Oh, uh, Goshi. Here we go, here we go. Look at look at Yoshi. Look at uh, Titus. Titus can control the match right now, man. Uh, the Well, the debuting superstars are not all of them because uh, Oksana lost on Wednesday Night Divas. So she's not their new superstars. The new superstars are not undefeated. So I can't use that cliche to talk about. But they've been impressive, some of them, except Oksana. Damn it, Oksana. Damn it. Yoshi being tagged in. Yoshi misses that kick. Titus O'Neil. What's that? Oh, man. Come on, O'Neil. That's your big time matchup here on Superstars, man. Uh oh, here we go. Back. Oh, the back being dropped to Yoshi right there. Here comes Titus O'Neil. Titus O'Neil tagging in. Darren Young. We're about to see what Darren Young brings to the ring, man. Here we go. Darren Young and elbow to the back of Yoshi Tatsu. Yoshi Tatsu, who a couple weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, well, just Reese, well, not really, just not last, not the last episode, but the episode before that, put on one hell of a matchup with Tyson Kidd, who will be later in action tonight against Wade Barrett and the Great Khali for the European Championship. You see that? Well, I did a little segue. That's what they, I think that's what they called him. I'm not sure. But Darren Young in control of the match right now. Darren Young, powerful maneuver from D Money. Or D Young, whatever the hell you want to call him. Here comes Yoshi Tatsu, though. He's thinking new things. Elbow, some knees, knees to the face. Sorry, why did I say elbows? Yoshi tossing the kicks, man. Yoshi's very deadly with those feet. Oh, he missed that one. And now Darren Young trying to toss up an elbow, but he misses that elbow. Yoshi grabs him by the arm and does a nice maneuver. Yoshi Tatsu is in control of the match right now. Yoshi with a nice bulldog. Beautiful bulldog from Yoshi Tatsu. Yoshi's going at the attack right now. I'm trying not to talk a lot, but I can't stop it. Yoshi running up to him. Nice to the face. Yeah, tagging your partner, Yoshi. Tagging your partner, Goldust. The veteran Goldust. No, he's not tagging him. He's doing that, though. Treating him like a monkey. And look at Yoshi saying, I'm ready for the fight. Bring it on, Darren Young. I'm going to tell you something. This team of uh, the primetime players, they were impressing me at first. Now, eh, it's a little eh to me. They're not impressing me anymore. They're getting their ass kicked by a team, also a team that has no experience whatsoever in Yoshi and uh, Goldust. It's just good to see Goldust and Yoshi Tatsu here, man. I, I, I miss seeing them here. Darren Young in control of the match again. Darren Young. Woo! That's impressive right there. That right there was impressive. Okay. Here comes Darren Young trying to get the win. No, Yoshi saves his partner. Oh, sorry. Golda saves his partner. Uh oh. Choking him. Why are you choking him? Why are you choking him? Look at Darren Young doing his maneuvers. Darren Young, strong man, man, man. Oh, Darren Young going, oh, Titus O'Neil going for the pin. Titus O'Neil, no. Oh, Yoshi going with the kick. Yoshi going with the kick. Yoshi doing his kick things. Yoshi's trying to get the, oh, no, 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 no. Titus O'Neil goes like, nope, nope, nope. You're not going to get a chance. But now Yoshi's trying to fight back, man. That's exactly what Yoshi needs to do. He's got to fight back. But Titus O'Neil, what a big move from Titus O'Neil. That could be it right there. Oh, he misses that kick. He misses that elbow or whatever the hell he was going for. Yoshi, what a splash from Yoshi Tatsu. Here we 
go. Look at the oh, oh come on man. Look at wait a second. What a toss from from Titus O'Neill. Titus O'Neill dominating. Titus O'Neill and the primetime players. Whoa, what a kick from Yoshi. 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 Oh, Yoshi did it. Yoshi and Gold to spoil the debut of the prime time players. Yoshi Dust, 1 0. Yoshi Dust is now 1 0. That's right. Well, a night of debuts, it's been pretty fun, man. Pretty fun to watch these debuts. Pretty fun to see these people coming out here tonight. And this new team of Yoshi Dust is now 1-0. And the primetime players are 0-1. And, and what was, um, well, it wasn't a great debut, but it wasn't a bad debut. I guess they lost, but they, they showed a little bit of something in the ring. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of the primetime players and Yoshi Dust. Because this is one bizarre team. Let's see what they do in the tag team division. The tag team division is starting to look pretty good now. Oh yeah, I was supposed to tell you something too. I'll tell you after this whole thing. Oh, oh what? Why are they grabbing the mics? Who gave them? The, did you give them the mics? Why did you give them the mics? You're not supposed to give them the mics. They're not. They didn't win. You can't. We're here. To, yeah. Okay. You're gonna catch the championship because you just lost your first match ever. Okay. Swagged out. What the hell are we in here? This is no. What the hell is swag? What? Why do we need to know about? No, they got no swag. There's so much. Okay. Uh, I, I'm. I don't know what the hell this swag thing is, but the prime time player and there's a million of dollars, million of. Do now you're just looking like fools. The prime time player, like, oh my. What? Now who let Jinder Mahal with the mic? What? What the hell's going on here? Well, folks, uh, I don't know who let those guys with the mics, but Jinder Mahal apparently the Great Khali wins. He will force the Great Khali to lay down the ring and be counted one, two, three by Jinder Mahal, making Jinder Mahal the new European champion. I guess he's just too lazy, man. I guess he, I guess Jinder Mahal is just too lazy to win a championship. But, folks, we're moving on to this matchup, which can actually be one of the funnest matches of the night. Uh, Unico will take on the red hot Sin Cara, man. Sin Cara's been on a roll ever since Wrestle after WrestleMania, man. He's been on a roll. You don't believe me? Go watch, just go watch, just go watch the episodes. Go watch, you just go watch any that has uh, Sin Cara in it. Remember, uh, this. This has a little bit of history that should have, I think, actually turned into a bigger rivalry than it did, but it didn't because we were at WrestleMania moments. WrestleMania time, and they dealt with an uh, Money in the Bank match. Wait, let me let Unico talk, and then I'll explain. Okay, what, what's Unico rambling about? I don't I don't even care, but hey, he rambled about what he did, and I th I'll give him something. It kind of didn't make sense, man. It kind of didn't make sense, but he has no reason to take it on these fans like this, man. But here comes the mass luchador from Mexico. Sin cara. 
Which, if you don't know Spanish, it means no face. Or has no face. Or something with no face. I, I, I don't know why he's called that, but hey. Explain that. Let him explain it to you. I don't know. But Sin Cara, hot, hot, hot streak, man. Okay, now let me explain what happened. Alright. During the match against Daniel Bryan, there was another Sin Cara that attacked Daniel Bryan when he was talking. And it confused Daniel Bryan to think that Sin Cara had attacked him. But it was a fake Sin Cara that was portrayed by that man named Unico. And that's how he made his debut. And this is like the... I think this is one of the... One of the times that now we're about to see him really go into action. That's not money in the bank. And uh, this one's going to be fun, folks. These two guys have a very fun have a very fun style of wrestling, man. They are luchadors. And for you to know, know that, this is going to be fun. I can tell you that much. Unico and Sin Cara are going to have a hell of a match right now. Sin Cara going for the drop kick. He misses it. Unico reverses it. Unico running around. Oh, well, look at Sin Cara able to reverse that one. Sin Cara is a beast. What Sin Cara kicking, kicking, kicking. Sin Cara, who's lately been day feuding with Otunga, David Otunga and Michael McGillicuddy. And there's Sin Cara, Sin Cara. Oh, no, 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 no. Sin Cara's been whooping their asses. Though. Sin Cara's been on a roll against those guys. He missed that one. Why did he miss that one? Sin Cara's in control. Who, who would have thought Sin Cara would have actually gone on a roll after WrestleMania? You know, I'm impressed by what Sin Cara's been able to do, man. He's been able to, been, he's been able to humiliate Michael McGillicuddy and David Otunga, two very good young talents, man. And he's been able to humiliate them. Simple as that. He's almost forced the, the, the team of Otunga and Michael McGillicuddy to think if they really want to be a team because they don't seem to trust each other because of Sin Cara. Look at Sin Cara. Oh, I thought Sin Cara was going to hit something big. But Unico knew what was going to happen. He, he he figured it out. He was like, two plus two equals four. Not to Booker T, but to me it equals four. What's one plus? No. What's two equals two? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just thinking stuff. Unico is on the attack, man. Unico, part of the group La Riqueza, which I think is the riches in English. The riches, which is part of Alberto Del Real's group that features uh, Epico, Primo, Rosa Mendez, and Unico. And uh, they're thinking about taking over Raw. But who isn't thinking about taking over Raw? Those guys, the Saviors, want to take over Raw. Brock Lesnar wants to take over Raw. Triple H wants to take over Raw. Everyone wants to take over Raw. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Santino Morella has his own plans to take over Raw. <laughs> Wait, where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, what the hell was that about? He's going for the pin. One, two. No, Sin Cara. Thinking, damn it, I gotta do a little bit more. But Unico's fighting, man. Unico's a fighter, man. You, you can't count Unico out yet. Here comes Sin Cara. Oh. L, what? Not bad, not bad. Oh, he missed that one. Oh, here comes Unico. What a move from Unico. Unico going for the one. No, Sinkar able to kick out. Sin Cara able to kick out. He's been fun to watch. This match has been fun to watch. Uh, my commentary isn't great, but hey, it's just what it needs to be. Just trying a new style here on Superstars. A slower pace one. Not trying to scream. Not trying to go crazy here. I don't know what you guys enjoy. Because I don't have no feedback. And I love your feedback. Tell me about my commentary. Do you want to hear it more loud, fast, quick? Or you just want me to take quick pauses?
Oniko, Oniko, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, face first. The Sin Cara, Sin Cara is in trouble. He better step it up right now. Or else his little hot streak of win, his little win streak is going to end. Look at that. Oh, Sin Cara, man. I'm, I'm impressed by Sin Cara. I'm impressed. To, I, if I was the general manager, Edge, I would give Sin Cara a title shot after Del Rio and Sheamus have their match at Extreme Rules. I honestly would. I, I think he's been very impressive over the last couple of weeks. And wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Oh my god, no. He's not going to hit this. Wow! That move was awesome. And that match, this match right here is over. And no, what the hell? Oniko was able to kick out. Wow, I'm surprised about that one. Oniko kicked out of that one. Oniko with, oh, gets uppercut by Sin Cara. Sin Cara's in control now. Oh, no, Sin Cara's not in control. Sorry, Oniko with a nice little flip right there from Oniko. Oniko... Watch out, I'm telling you, this guy, he likes to do those things. He likes to do those things. This guy likes to do luchador things, man. Wait a second, what are you doing? Oh, Swanton Bomb. A Swanton by Unico. About to pick up the win. No. Sinkar able to kick out of that one. Oh, he's throwing the he's doing whatever he needs to do right now. He's doing what he needs to do. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What's he doing? What's he doing? Face first! Sinkar goes down face first. Now Unico, what's he gonna do right here? Oh wait a second. Oh, oh, oh. Sinkara! Oh missed that one. Sinkara, you better do something right here. And there it is! There it is! This could be it! He could make Unico tap out right here! Unico's in trouble! Unico's gonna be made to submit! So Unico's trying to reach the ropes, but you're too far, man! You're too far! You're not gonna make it! You're not gonna make it to the ropes! Unico has no choice but to tap out! No, he's not tapping out yet! Wait a second, what's this? What's the... Wow, that looked like an angle slam from Unico. And Unico's going for the pin. Sin Cara's win streak is over. No, Sin Cara able to kick out. Sin Cara, man, is still fighting everything he's got, man. So is Unico. These two are giving it all they have right here. They know the Raw GM is watching. One, two. No, not even a two count. They know the Raw GM is watching. Unico wants to make a good impression on the Raw GM. Tell him, I'm ready to be a champion, man. I'm ready to do something. Oh, oh wait, look at I love these moves from Sin Cara. I love it. Look at Sin Cara. Just crazy in that ring, man. Wait, Sin Cara's going for the win. Here we go. And here we yes, no. Unico able to kick out. Uh oh, wait a second. What a what a oh come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh wait, it looked like Unico was going for a suplex, but Sin Cara able to reverse that. Not bad. Oh, Look, it's, I thought Sin Cara was about to fly. Oh, yeah, he is. Sin Cara's flying. He grabbed the arm. Wow, that right there is accuracy. You know, you're all the way in the top. You're supposed to grab the arm and do that. Good job, Sin Cara. Good job. You're impressive. Oh, Unico takes back control. Unico, headbutt to the head. Obviously, a headbutt to the head, right? No, you can go headbutt to the, the ribs. Or do you call that a rib butt? What do you call a, a head to the a headbutt? Uh, yeah, hitting your head on someone's butt. A butt butt? It makes you think, doesn't it? Woo! Sin Cara is telling Unico, turn around. Turn around. Woo! What a move. Oh, look at Sin Cara. Tell him, get out of there, man. I gotta grab you out of there. Oh, he missed that one. But Sin Cara able to get that one going, though. Look at Sin Cara, man. He knows what he's doing. Sin Cara knows exactly what he's doing. Sin Cara being tested. His streak, uh, his, his hot streak is being tested tonight against Unico. And I wouldn't have, I, I knew it. I knew this would happen. I knew Unico would give Sin Cara a great test because they, they have the same abilities and all this. Here we go. Here we go. Unico going for the win. No. Sin Cara able to kick out. They have the same technique, they have the same style, and that right there, I, I figured something was going to happen. I figured out that Unico will know how to do things that 
Otunga and McGillicuddy can do against Sinkara. Swanton from oh he missed it. He missed it. Sinkara is telling him get up. I'm ready to extend my streak. No, but Unico says no, not yet. Not yet. Maybe I can take this one. No, but Sinkara would make a reversal. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I knew this matchup would be good because they have the same style of matchup. They know how they're gonna reverse each other's moves. They know what to do. And look at Sinkara. Wait a second. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for that that freaking a uh, freaking finisher of his that can be very deadly you know when he really tries and he can hold it on for a long time long long time whoa look at the move Get Sin Cara, so get up, come on. And Unico, Unico, wait, look at Unico. Oh, but look at Sin Cara. Beautiful move from Sin Cara, man. Sin Cara is in control right now. And this is not where Unico wants to be. Unico needs to pull off a reversal. One huge reversal. And I know he has it in him, man. Unico is a very, I, I believe in Unico, honestly. I believe in him, but I, I think he needs to believe in himself. And wait a second, Sin Cara, high risk maneuver. He, oh, he missed it. Unico, this is Unico's chance. Can Unico get it? Oh, here we go. Angle slam on Sin Cara. Unico might have just picked up the win. Sin Cara's streak, the winning streak is over. N yeah, no, Sin Cara with a kick out. But Sin Cara, uh oh, he got him on the ropes. Looked like a, I thought we were about to see a 6 1 9 happen. I was. Hey, Unico just took a current angle move. Why not take away uh, Rey Mysterio's move? Wait a second. Wait a second. Sin Cara's got the. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. With Unico so much closer to the ropes. But this time he says, Enough's enough. I'm tapping out. Sin Cara. Sin Cara extends his winning streak. That's good for you, Sin Cara. Beautiful match. Awesome match. Might have been the match of the night, in my opinion. Awesome match for Thursday Night Superstars. But remember, Thursday Night Superstars is one of the most underrated shows here. And what a beautiful move from Sinkara all around. Sinkara extends the streak. Unico gave one hell of a, of a performance. Showing why, he, you know, showing some potential, man. That's what I like to see. Him showing some potential of greatness. And Sin Cara is also showing that potential of greatness and that maybe he's ready for a championship. He, uh, U.S. Championship? European Championship? Why not one of those championships for Sin Cara? Uh, folks, we got to go to our first commercial break of the night and our only commercial break of the night. Hope you join us for the rest of Thursday Night Superstars. Remember, the European Championship is still on the line when Wade Barrett defends it against Tyson Kidd and the great Kali. Make sure you come back and make sure you give us feedback on this.